Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's two children could receive titles from King Charles but not without a caveat, according to a royal expert. The decisions to offer royal titles to Archie, aged three, and Lilibet, aged one, has been a contentious subject since Queen Elizabeth II died last month. Katie Nichol, who recently published The New Royals, said that Charles could insist that any titles given would come with strings attached to try and keep the California-based pair in check, reports the Express. Ms. Nichol told Palace Confidential Podcast, but if that did happen, it is going to come with a caveat. He is going to insist that Harry and Meghan are respectful of the institution if they are taking the titles of the institution. That is very important to him. She said that titles matter to Charles and the new monarch will not hand them out freely. Speculation has risen that Charles could follow the model laid out by Denmark's Queen Margrethe, who recently stripped her grandchildren of their royal duties and titles. Queen Margrethe stripped all those not in direct line of accession of HRH titles. The royal author claimed constitutional experts, who I spoke to for this book, the likes of Peter Hennessy and Dr. Ed Owens all saw this pattern of the British monarchy moving into a sort of European-style royalty. Ms. Nicol added, and if that is the case, then possibly they're not going to get these titles. Charles is understood to have long desired a stripped-back monarchy and with a reduced number of working royals as well as royal titles. This comes after reports last week that Charles hasn't decided whether or not to allow Archie and Lilibet to use their new titles. The indecision is heightening tensions with Meghan and Harry, according to the Times, as the Duke and Duchess fear the King may strip Archie and Lilibet of their titles. King Charles III is reportedly waiting for the release of Prince Harry's tell-all memoir before deciding whether his children, Archie and Lilibet will receive their rightly inherited titles. After the death of the Queen, when Charles became King Charles III, his grandchildren, Archie and Lilibet, fell into the 1917 Letters Patent. The 1917 Letters Patent is a ruling that means all grandchildren of the monarch can inherit his slash Her Royal Highness, more commonly styles as HRH, titles. In the excerpt, Nicol pointed out that Archie and Lilibet's royal titles have not been updated on the royal family's website, unlike the titles of Prince Charles, now the Prince of Wales, Kate Middleton, now Princess Catherine of Wales, and their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, now styled as Prince George of Wales, Princess Charlotte of Wales and Prince Louis of Wales. Archie and Lilibet have retained the titles of Master Archie Mountbatten-Windsor and Miss Lilibet Mountbatten-Windsor. While the act may be seen as a snub, Nicol reported that the king is reluctant to make any title changes in general, not just title changes for Harry and Meghan's children. She explained in the excerpt, We know titles matter to Charles, and he reportedly wants to limit them to the top tier of royals. He is also reportedly reluctant for his brother Prince Edward to take the title Duke of Edinburgh, even though it was their late father's wish. King Charles is waiting to see what Harry writes about the royal family in his highly anticipated upcoming memoir, which is expected to be published in 2023, before granting his son's children any official royal titles. Nicol writes, would Charles go as far as barring Archie and Lilibet from becoming a prince and a princess now that the Sussexes are no longer working royals? According to a source close to the king, it depends a lot on what happens in the coming months, particularly with Harry's book and their TV show. While it is up to the king to grant official titles to the children, Meghan and Harry will be the people to decide if their children will use these titles and be styled as HRH.